Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that, that's not how I've done it before, right? That, that's not how I've run payroll. That's not how I've, what it doesn't matter, right? Um, and then that makes the wife feel all of a sudden like an employee. She's not. And more than likely, she has better ideas than you do on these areas. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 382nd episode of Potty Talk. Hey, and we have a fun one. I've been looking forward to this one. I'm always looking forward to them. I know I say, <laughs> you do I say think that someone said I say that all the time, <laughs> but I look forward to these times. Yeah. Because well, these are one of my favorites because we're going to talk specifically to what we call plumbing power couples. Plumbing power couples being a husband and wife that own a plumbing business, looking to grow it, be successful, all of that. Right, right on. And yep. work together and, and doing all the things, right, to, right. to make it happen. So, well, the, the title of this episode is How to Work with Your Spouse Without Killing Them. Yes. So, yeah, without killing each other. You didn't ever want to kill me, did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not. Um, yes, I did. And you wanted to kill me, right? And and we no. went, guys, we went through it in, in most assuredly in the beginning of our, our um, plumbing business of really trying to figure out how to work together because it's not easy. It doesn't doesn't come natural, even though that is how we were created, you know, to work together. Um, but there's a lot of learning that goes into it and a lot of... Um, uh, patience, for sure, um, and and things that you need to do, which exactly. we're going to talk about today. In fact, I'm going to share, we are going to share, mm-hmm. we're going to participate together, mm-hmm. three simple things that you can do, mm-hmm. all right, to, to make working together a lot easier. And again, these are simple things that, you know, you can do. This doesn't have to be so complex. No, and dare we say even fun, right? To, to have fun to work together um, and that you enjoy working together. And that's one of the things we, we love about um, working with some of our clients and, and our coaches working with clients of in the beginning, a husband and wife working together, really struggling. And then once they kind of get into the rhythm and figure things out, how much they enjoy working together and enjoy being together. And um, that's, that's certainly our heart and, and our goal is to, to help people get to that way quicker than what we did in the beginning. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, figure those things out. We already made the mistakes. Again, that's, that's what we're sharing here. We'll probably sh- we'll share the mistakes and tell yes. you what, what you should do to replace it. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. and we've been working together. Well, I've been married 30 years. We mm-hmm. worked 29 years of those together, yep. 24-7. Mm-hmm. So we've, we've hit we've, all the problems. We know a thing or two. We've and hit all the, the landmines. We did, and we created some of the landmines, <laughs> yeah. right? We created them, stepped on them, blew them up, you know, cleaned up the mess, all the things, right? Yep. A few times. So this isn't um, us coming to a subject where we've just perfected it you know, in the beginning, and we never had any issues, right? Um, we were, we've were we talked about before, we were almost right. divorced at, at um, year three of our marriage because we hated each other. Just working together and just the stress of all of it, the, all, the, all the things you're doing. If you're a plumbing power couple, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We, we were on the verge of um, being divorced, and, and we literally hated each other, and that we were able to come through that um, and, and have a marriage that I, I would say – is better than what we could have ever imagined, right? And then a business relationship um, and, and working relationship that we just we cherish to this day. Right. These three simple things that we're going to share with you, mm-hmm. I would say were the keys. These are the three keys to our marriage today and our success, both, mm-hmm. uh, you know, business-wise and, of course, uh, as a relationship. Yeah, so, so. Put, as we're going through these, kind of our hope is you put them, these types of things into play right now, right? And when you're in early in your plumbing business and and again if you're working together do it do it now don't don't wait until you've you know gotten to the struggles and and you know you're you're floundering around or whatever do do these things today right on hey well while we have you here mm-hmm. hey we're, we're we're so glad that you're here with us i want to ask you to uh please uh share this episode Ooh, yes share okay, like share. Leave, leave some reviews everybody knows right everybody knows that reviews matter reviews matter to us as well for potty talk so please go on and give us a review give us a like give us a follow youtube do all the subscribing on wherever you're listening to um would really appreciate that that's right help us help as many plumbing entrepreneurs as possible Absolutely. we appreciate your help all right so yes how to work with your spouse without mm-hmm. killing them you know first of all we we hear this all the time yep. don't we sweetheart you know yes, about i can't work with my spouse i, I can never work never. With, i can never all that that is uh, well, first of all, you you were created to work together, mm-hmm. okay? You were created to work together. You both have abilities and mm-hmm. um, a way of seeing things and all that that works to make you the best, you as a team, mm-hmm. the best possible. Right. Well, think of Adam and Eve, right? God, to put, God put them together um, in the garden to work the garden, 
Right, there was a responsibility together. Oh, yeah, I created created Adam. Mm-hmm. All right, and after I got done creating all the animal, you know, everything and all looking around, everything was great. Mm-hmm. But took another look at Adam and just Adam needs Adam <laughs> needs something. Okay, guys, we need something. Okay, <laughs> and so he created Eve. Mm-hmm. You know, out of Adam. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's she was designed to be his helper, not not. Not a slave, not you? secondary, <laughs> not an employee, right. not not lesser. That's not anything about that. Mm-hmm. But it was t- together, mm-hmm. they, they were great. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's what we see with, uh, we see it all the time. We talk about plumbing power couples, you know, guys that are working, well, guys that are working on their own. This is tough enough. I mean, a business. To create a plumbing business is tough enough it's, on your own. It's hard. We get but, it, guys. But we see it all the time once, once you know, life gets involved. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we, we work through some things here, mm-hmm. you know, all of a sudden you see the business take off. Right. Yeah. You know? Because you've got two different, um, t- two different personalities and um, that can bring different w- um, strengths, right? We each have our strengths and weaknesses, um, but can bring different strengths um, to, um, to the business. And, and that's what makes it beautiful. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's, let's get at it. Okay. So, so what are the things we can do? Mm-hmm. All right. Can put in place or... Or think about things <laughs> that, that keep us from killing one another. Keep you from ending up in jail. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that. Okay. Right? First, and not, be, oh. and, well, and, and not only want to add it, it's not only just to keep you from killing one That's another, true. but just make it so much fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. And just so much easier. Right. Okay. And, and powerful. Yeah. And help to avoid the, not only avoid the landmines, but not. And can I say sexy? You can say it. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, hey guys, it's awfully sexy to be at this stage of my life. And looking back how Laura and I have done this together, I've done it together with my queen. Mm. You know, and she's had my side, been by my side, had my side, had my back. We've been through so many battles together, not personally, even though that has wow. happened, <laughs> but just against the world, you know, and just yeah. making things happen and in business and all that. Mm. And now to be here today and, know, you know, that, that just is, uh, it's sexy. Right. And I mean, on maybe a little bit different tangent, had we gotten divorced at year three, mm-hmm. right? Had we given up, right? Because it was hard. That, that third year in, in um, our marriage, and we had two kids at that point because I, I had a son from a previous marriage, and then we had it, um, our middle son. And um, it was hard, right, starting the business and all the things. But what would have happened had we given in and, and threw in the towel, right? What would have happened? We, we would have missed so much. Yes. We would have missed so much. We, we, we would have missed growing that business, um, employing the people that we employed, serving the community in the way that we serve. So those are all business related. But from a relationship standpoint, we, we would have missed the birth of our third daughter had we gotten divorced. Mm. So our our hope is that even though you may be going through a struggle right now, being a plumbing power couple and, and all the things, that you can look on what's on the other side of this struggle. What's on the other side? If, you, if, you, if you're determined and intentional about saying, we're, we're going to figure this out, we're going to, you know, put things in place to where we can have a, not only a great business relationship, but a great marriage. Um, think about what's, what's on the other side of the struggle that you might be going in, going through ours. Now, as we can look back, hindsight's 2020, but as we can look back the birth of our daughter, of course, that would be the biggest. We never would have, our daughter wouldn't have been born. I can't even imagine that. Right. And then having the, the vacations and the, ex- and the Christmases and, and all those types the experiences, of things, experiences, every, right that had we thrown in the towel because we had so many business pressures and not knowing a lot of these things, we, we would have missed out on so much. And now that we're empty nesters and have a, a great marriage and, and fun relationship and all that, we would have missed out on all that. So as, as we're going through this, really think about what's on the other side of the current struggle that you guys might be going through. Um, and is it worth it? Oh. And the answer is yes. And that's so good. The answer is yes. And we haven't even talked business yet. We certainly wouldn't have been. I know I certainly wouldn't have been as successful as as I am or what, what we've been able to create, you know, uh, alone, uh, even if I would have been successful at it alone. So, we, you know, right. even looking at it that way. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yes. As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. So what can okay. we do here? Well, Easy. Write these down. Okay, simple things here. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Number one, mm-hmm. define roles. Yes. Okay. We start with the business. First of all, you know, making it uh, clear, you know, guys, a lot of times, you know, our wives come, well, you know, we, we may have already started the business. We see that often. They have already started mm-hmm. the business. Now, Laura and I started our business together, mm-hmm. our plumbing business together. One yep. of our, and, and so we started right off the bat. But, but what's most common is we, you, normally we see the you know, guy starting and then, and then the wife comes on board. Right. Okay. Typically the wife has another job, right. you know, whether you know, a career or just you know, kind of a job just to pay the bills, whatever it might be. But typically that's what we see. Right. Mm-hmm. And so it's not, she's not coming on to be your employee. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't, it's not second, she's not secondary. Okay. It's now, it's co-ownership. Okay. But you have, you, we both have to have your lanes. Okay. You both can't, you know, be responsible for everything and, right. and have the last say on everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, and like you said, most of the time it is the plumber who's had the business and then the wife comes along and starts doing some of the things that the plumber had been doing. Granted, you the plumber guy's wearing all the hats, right? He's answering the phones. He's doing the invoicing if he ever gets around to it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, he's figuring out marketing and hiring and all that. So now the wife comes along and starts to fill her role, right? And then the the husband, the plumber owner, says, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! That that's not how I've done it before, right? That that's not how I've run payroll. That's not how I've what it doesn't matter, right?" Um, and then that makes the wife feel all of a sudden like an employee. She's not, and more than likely, she has better ideas than you do. On these areas, we've, we've seen enough. Yes, sorry, the, the <laughs> stats are in. I've lived enough. Okay, <laughs> the stats are in. Yeah. We because again, us women are typically more administratively minded, right? We're more, um, we can be pragmatic, all that type of stuff. So, um, guys, that's one thing. Defining the roles: who's going to be responsible for what? Who's going to be responsible for marketing, hiring, systems, all the things? So, figure out which one has the the best um, strength in that area. And then let that person assign that to that person. And, and we're using generalities of what typically women um, are drawn to and what men are. Um, but it, it may be the opposite for you guys, right? It doesn't matter. Define the role so you're not stepping on each other's to- toes. And then also, um, if, if that's what you're responsible for, then you have that final decision, right? That person has the final decision in that area. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. Exactly. And so that, that's on the business side. But we also need to go back into the home because being a, a you know a couplepreneur, you know mm-hmm. a plumbing power couple, mm-hmm. you know a couple you know a couple that are you know starting or running a business together, and um, it, it changes the dynamic at home too. You both are busy, okay, and Very so busy. traditional roles may change at home as well, and probably should, okay, you know. So guys, and I'm mostly this is a guy issue. It's you know in the early days, and it probably probably caused a lot of the problems. Not probably it did. You know, we're, we're both working in the business and, and, you know, the lovely Laura is working just as hard, if not harder. It depends on the day of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so you're just as tired and wore out. So we, we go home mm-hmm. and I, I'm expecting a little lady to be in there cooking dinner while I'm sitting on the couch watching, you know, ESPN or, <laughs> or news or something or, you know, whatever, you know, drinking a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that ever, that ever happened. <laughs> Okay, well, the first part, yes, yes, but I don't know if you're sitting there drinking a beer. I'm just trying to paint the whole picture here, <laughs> and maybe a scotch. Yeah, right. okay. it might have been. <laughs> um, but it's that that is you know that doesn't work. Okay, so it's it's taking a look at you know what needs to be taken care of at home. Okay, mm-hmm. now I'm not talking. We're you know I'm not talking about now we're we're, we're transitioning into different whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. what, what's going on inside? <laughs> okay, we're all about traditional roles. Yeah. In fact, in our home, we 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 believe. Um, that, you know, I, as, as, uh, the man and the husband, I, and the father, I have the final, final, final say. From a okay. fam- yeah. From our, yeah. Right. In, yeah. in our home, mm-hmm. in our yes. home envir- environment, environment. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't take, oh, I don't take advantage of that. I'm mm-hmm. saying that, mm-hmm. but, it, but it's not, um, we had to take a look at it to where I need to be more active and more involved with the laundry and day dishes day to day, even be aware more of the kids doing some stuff with the, I normally wouldn't do. Mm-hmm. With, with the kids. Right. And that, right. that didn't come easy for you in the beginning, oh. right? Because I, we're considerably older than probably a lot of people watching. So we have very traditional um, thoughts. And I traditionally as well as a woman, I, not that I thought this is my job to be the homemaker or whatever, but I, I gravitate towards that. It's, it comes easily to me. Um, so that, that was a stumbling block in the beginning. Once we kind of you know, had the business, things were going and I was just as busy. And then we ended up, you know, having three kids and, and all the things. Right. And it was, um, 
it was a lot. And so we did have to establish who's going to be responsible for what. Um, I can't, I can't do it all. I'm not there. Uh, women, you can't do it all. You just can't. It's just the way it is. We don't expect to be super right. women, whatever, because you just wear yourself out and then you're no good for your kids, for your husband, for your business, whatever. So defining the roles in the beginning um, and I don't see this on the list, but getting help too. Um, one of the things that, that we did early on too was um, get help. House cleaning first. That's always the very first thing we tell all of our plumbing <laughs> power couples is get someone to clean your house. Because for us gals, um, if there's dust bunnies, typically, um, if there's dust bunnies around and stuff, th those dust bunnies are talking to us, right? And But I don't have time to get to it, but the dust bunnies over here, well, it's time for you to dust. You haven't dusted for two weeks or whatever, right? And it's... Um, it's just there, top of mind, or it's there staring you in the face. If you can hire someone to clean your house once a week, every other week, whatever, they come in, take care of those things, and that's not top of mind. It's not something that's kind of nagging at you. Oh, i got to get my house clean. Oh, I'm never going to have time to get the house clean. Ah, whatever, right? So house cleaning, and it's super inexpensive, typically. Not typically. It is. It's super inexpensive, and you give someone else a job, right? You give you give a, a woman or even a company, or, you know, they come in, they bring a crew of two or three, get the place cleaned, and you've given them a job as well. And then you're freed up to do the things that are important for your family and for your business. You cleaning your house, wife, is stupid at this point. If you own a business. Ooh, the lovely Laura. I just threw it down. She's in. It's, it's stupid, right? Because you, you cannot do it all. And if you're, if you're building your business correctly, you've put that in your honest hourly rate. Right. So who pays for it? Your customer pays for it. And it, it just frees you up to do the things again that's that's most important for your family and for your business. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. All so, right. There we go. Define roles. <laughs> Sorry, I know I kinda <laughs> I went the wrong <laughs> different direction. But that's one of my biggest is and that and another is grocery delivery. If you live somewhere <laughs> where you can get grocery grocery delivery, get gro unless Unless you're like, okay, grocery delivery is my escapism. It's somewhere I can go and hubby stays home and watches the kids and I can wander around the store. Okay, that's fine. I would, I would challenge you to find a better hobby. Go get your nails done or, or something. Go sit somewhere and read a book. But right. um, grocery delivery, that's one. And it's super inexpensive and it, because grocery shopping is a time sucker. So find things that are sucking your time or taking you away from doing the things that are important and then hire out for that. And it goes the same way with you guys. You know, So you're responsible for... The lawn, okay? Mm. Hire, hire someone to mow the lawn for you and do all the trimming. Snow shoveling. Right. You know, unless, you have, unless you have boys, right? If right. you have teenage boys or old with, enough With boys, our boys, that was the, yeah. how they learned how to work they and, need to do, and be disciplined. And, correct. They and, need to do the yard right. and, and all the, the things, right? Shoveling. You, just, you should not be the one doing it. Right. Okay, so okay. defining roles personally as well, right? Yes. At home and, and all that. Establishing those up front. Defining roles. It's a biggie, <clears> okay? <throat> uh, number two, mm. um, you know... We have this thing, and we, we, we did it. You know, we, we feel like we're meeting or we're discussing things, mm -hmm. but really, you know, we're just kind of throwing up on one another so throughout the day. You know, mm -hmm. you come, I'd, I'd come by you and say, what, what's going on with this? And, well, I think we ought to do that and blah, blah, blah. But you're busy doing whatever. Mm -hmm. Other time, you would want to make me aware of, you know, something. 4,000 things that need right, to be done. <laughs> right. You know, and I'm, I'm often doing my thing mm -hmm. or whatever. And so we feel like we're, we're – talking to one another, but we're not. In fact, that's all we're really doing is talking at one another. Right. And so, you know, another thing you need to do or put into play is planning meetings. Establishing a plan, a weekly right. planning meeting so that you do have the time to sit and, and talk about your business. Again, we say it all the time. Passing in the hallway um, and asking each other business-related questions does not a business meeting make. Right. Right. There's not a business there's meeting. No, there's nothing being accomplished. Nothing or very little. At right. best, very little. A task may get accomplished or an answer to a right. question or, or something. But from a, uh, a business planning standpoint, and unless you're having intentional scheduled planning meetings, um, you're just, you're not getting things, um, your, your business isn't moving forward the way it should. Right. So we established fairly early on um, a, a planning meeting in stone once a week where we would go somewhere outside of the office um, to, you know, restaurant, coffee shop, beer and, and wings joint, whatever it might be, and really have a planning meeting. That way it allowed um, for us to talk about big picture things. And then also, you know, what happened last week? What are some things that we need to work on? Did these things that we, you know, decided last week that needed to get done, where are we with that? So it's a time to really um, regroup and away from everybody else, away from the kids, away from the office, away from the phones, all of that, that you can focus on your business. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just what it helps is 
is, is the emotion. It helps cut, cut down that emotion because when we're just, you know, going at one another or coming at one another throughout the week and just kind of throwing up, like I said, throwing up on one another mm-hmm. and you, nothing's really being accomplished, mm-hmm. but we're, we're getting emotionally, you know, mm-hmm. maybe a little bit out of shape. Sure. You know, because we just, you know, normally you just kind of, I'm coming right at you. Kind of barking you know, what, at what's each going other. on with this? Mm-hmm. What's why, well, I'm busy well, doing I'm this. Bu- I'm, well, how, right. I've asked you now three times to get me the la la la, whatever right. it is, right? Yeah, and that just, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Where we have the, the planning meeting, it may start make, making all the difference. Yeah. Because then, um, and it's away from the office, okay, and away from home. Do, some place where you just feel a little fun, comfortable, okay, mm-hmm. Um, where your mind can be a little bit open right. and you can relax. Cause, right, because you guys are business owners. Take advantage. Right. Take advantage of being a business owner. We, we tend to forget that sometimes. It's like, oh, I have a plumbing company, so I just need to be grinding, 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 grinding. i got to be there at the shop before the guys get there. I need to be the last one home, and, uh, right. and I, can't, I can't take an afternoon off or whatever. Why not? Right. Why, you know, why not? You're, you're a business owner. Why did you create your plumbing business? Did you create your plumbing business so that you could just be grinding, grinding, grinding all the time? Gosh, I hope not. Right, so take advantage. Use the time. Like you know what, we, we're taking every Thursday afternoon off and going to have a two-hour planning meeting, and that's it. And then you you put it on your schedule. You put whatever calendar. Guys, surely you're sharing calendars or at least have access. Put it on the calendar. If, if you're using Service Titan and you're still on the board or whatever, put it on there. It is it is one of the most important meetings, if not the most important meeting you can have all week. Mm-hmm. Even more important than doing a job if you're still in the truck. Is is more important than doing a yes. job. So it's extremely important, but yes. you get in that environment and what that allows. And I was in the mindset then I was open to taking your, you know, your machine gun, Task, you know, all the, the tasks. So I was, I was in, I could, I could relax <laughs> and I was, I was able to take that. And right. you were open to, you know, all my grand ideas mm-hmm. and what, well, we're still working on this. What are you doing? Working on that right. kind, kind of a thing. But we, we were able, we were able to discuss it. Mm-hmm. And then we, we put these, again, looking at, we look forward to the next week. Okay, we're good. I need to get these tasks done. Okay, I agree to that. And we'll get this and get this. Mm-hmm. You would say, okay, I'll do some research on blah, blah, blah. Right. And then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll start pushing that forward or whatever. Right. And then we can take a look back. Okay, did we accomplish what we wanted to accomplish, this, what we said we were going to do this past week? Correct. You it's know? kind of like a, a sports team, right? It, it um, doesn't happen where all of a sudden, you know, the players are out on the field and then the coach, you know, walks on and this – and then everybody knows what they're supposed to do, right? No, they, they have meetings. We've talked about this. We've, we've reviewed tapes, you know, game tapes or whatever, right? right. The, w- there's been planning that's gone into get ready for getting ready for the game. Um, so that's why you absolutely have to have those times of really focusing on the business. And because if not, the days go by, the weeks go by months the years right and your business and, winds up going bye-bye right and or you're stuck in the same exact spot right. which because if, if you're coasting at best right right coasting downhill so um yeah planning meetings off-site weekly there we Insta. go mm-hmm. right and again these are already two very simple things to do okay define your roles okay planning meetings right okay mm-hmm. hey i'm glad you're here Hope you're checking this out. Hey, if you like what you're hearing so far, please share it again. Hey, but for being here, I have something for you. Check this out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a potty talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right, we're back here. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about how to work with your spouse mm-hmm. without killing them. Yes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and when we did it in a negative. We could have said how to work with your spouse and have a really great life. <laughs> okay. We could have done that. But of course. But see, fear pain. works. Or pain yeah, fear, and work. fear and pain work. So, <laughs> you know. But it really yeah. does, you do these things mm-hmm. that we're talking about, it leads to a very great life, yes. okay, mm-hmm. and good business, mm-hmm. all right? Yep. So like we already said, you know, define roles, mm-hmm. okay? Define those roles, have a weekly planning meeting, mm-hmm. and it is in stone Happening. every mm-hmm. week. You're never too busy. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. You know, if one of the kids is sick or something, something like that, that that's a thing, right? right? But I'm talking about, you know, you can get into the week or they got this problem or whatever, nope. It's the planning meeting. Because your business isn't going to go forward. It right. just isn't, guys. And you have a business, and a business is supposed to grow. Right. It is supposed to grow. So There we yes. go. Planning meetings. All okay. right. Okay, and then finally, mm-hmm. okay, 
And this is extremely important and it's extremely good for business. Mm -hmm. And that is date night. <laughs> Okay. And I'm only, I'm only half so tongue in cheek. I know if any of our clients right now, they just checked out, they're like, oh my gosh, not date night again. Yes. We're always and continually going to talk about date night. Always. Yes. Mm -hmm. Date night. Okay. Is just good for keeping, you know, you guys have been, in, you know, in, in the war together. Okay. You're working all this stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And not, not to mention the family that's a home and, you know, kids and, every, you know, everything that's going on life. Okay. You've got to take that time to be boyfriend and girlfriend, to play, to right. remind yourself, or just to be, ju just to be a couple. Right. I mean, just, just be a couple. Who, well, you go do the things that you like to do as a couple, whether it's go to, go to the movies, go on a hike, um, go bowling, go golfing, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Right. But something that you, and it doesn't have to be a night. We always say date night, right. but it's whatever season you're in. You may have to have a date afternoon or a Saturday morning or what, whatever. What doesn't matter. It's being, being some, having um, scheduled every week that you're going to do something as a couple. And again, there's seasons or sometimes date, date night might be short, right? Because you got little ones at home and, you know, you know maybe you've got a, you know three or four kids and the grandma can only take so much at a time, right? Um, so it just depends on the season. But regardless, I mean, even when we had little kids, we made it up once we kind of get past our, um, our difficult well, times. Well, that enforcing getting into date night, and even doing these other things helped bring helped us yeah back around. Mm -hmm, yeah, um, but yeah, having the date night, um, regardless of where you go, how much how much money you have. When we started out, we were broke, broke, right. broke, broke, broke. We go through and Taco Bell, Taco Bell, <laughs> Taco Bell. Go to the airport, <laughs> airport parking lot. Small. We had a little small municipal yeah. airport, um, but yeah, watch we, the planes take off <laughs> and dream about you know what we want our look, lives to look like too, right? right? Um, think about, you know, what, what do we want to do in whatever years or gosh, what are, gonna, what, what are we going to do when we're 50? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're practically dead by then, right? <laughs> Cut to yeah. 60 is the new 40. Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but have those times of just, gosh, guys, being together. And I, it's so simple. And you've heard a million times date night from whatever, online, everybody. Um, but it really is that important. And the only way that it happens if you're intentional about it. It's the only way it happens. It's not going to happen by magic. It's not going to happen just because it happens. It's going to happen because you guys are absolutely intentional about having a time where you have at least a couple hours away, just you two. Right. No matter what stage of life you're in. And so, you know, I assume you're here, you're watching this, you either have a plumbing business or you're, you know, you're, you're looking to have a, a, a plumbing business or, or maybe you're here. We do have, we do have viewers, listeners that are just in the business. I just find this interesting or whatever. <laughs> Um, but what, whatever it is, I'm assuming you want to be successful, okay? And these are, are definitely things that will help you, not only your relationship be successful, but is good for business. I can't stress that enough. You know, it, it does, it's not very sexy saying, you know, planning meetings, you know, uh, <laughs> that kind of thing, or, or even, even date night. What's that have to do with business? What, what, what's, that, what's that a percentage of? What are we having? What number is that? You know, what's what the ROI? A, on that? Right. The IRI, uh, ROI on is, the, is huge. Huge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because especially if you're doing, if, if, if you're fortunate enough to be a, a PPC, a plumbing power couple, you're, you're, you're going to, the odds are just tremendously increase for you to be successful. Right. If but, you do these things. But you also need to do these things because right. also the, the stress is going to be, is going to be increased because if you don't do these things, defining roles, have the time to communicate, the planning meeting, mm -hmm. and then re reminding yourselves, okay, that your boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. first, okay, mm -hmm. then things just get, they just get uh, out just, of whack. You become two ships in the night. Yes. And small things um, tend to, to fester and then bubble over, right? Or even big things, you know, if they're not addressed and then all of a sudden small things causes a big blow up or whatever. Right. Um, and these are just some of the things that, that we, ha these, are, these are the foundational things on how to have a successful working relationship with your spouse um, so that you don't kill each other, but also that you can have a, a great marriage and, and a thriving business. And that's a lot of fun. Okay. It is so, a lot of fun. Again, look look at what's on the other side. Yep. So there we go. Okay. Three three very simple things you can do. You can implement right now. Right now. Put these in place, and it will make all the difference in your plumbing yes. business. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. There we go. Okay. Hey, if you're looking to to really make a difference in your plumbing business, which I expect you are, whether you're looking, you're just starting out, or or you know you're a veteran and, and looking to take your plumbing business to the next level. 
Uh, you're, not, you're not even sure uh, what, what you're doing or where, where you're headed. <laughs> All right, we're here to help. All right, hey, schedule your free strategy call, and it's free. There's no pushing. There's no nothing. I just, we want to help, okay? Um, and so you schedule your free strategy call. We'll have a conversation, all right, and get you pointed in the right direction. Yes. Okay. Um, you'll find out what's holding you back. That will be identified. And then you'll be, uh, you know, shown the, the right path or given the information that uh, you can overcome that. Right. Okay. Yes. So go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. There we go. All right. It's good stuff there. Yeah. Okay. How to work with your spouse without killing them. <laughs> <laughs> so go do those things. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye. Bye.